Most depressed, my bully excelled at life. 40 years old. My middle school bully lives on a lake in a huge house doing jack shit because his dad owns a franchised car lot married to the girl of both our dreams making more money by far than me. The only solace I have is that his wife doesn't ever post a picture of him which is usually a sign of an unhappy marriage. But other than that, he looks to be just as much a dickbag now as back then yet he still looks happier and has more. Meanwhile I'm penniless with crippling anxiety and depression. Tonight sucks. Maka in the middle. Two days ago. It's a sad fact that arrogant, self-confident people generally do better in life. The platitude of Don T. Worry, the bullies will fail after high school and you'll succeed is just that, merely a platitude. Life isn't fair and karma doesn't exist. Sorry to be such a downer, but 36 years of life has taught me to be a pessimist. All you can do is improve on yourself, as much as is within your abilities. We just have to face the fact that there will always be people who have advantages over us. Active underscore equivalent 991. Two days ago. I'm so sorry for this. If it's any consolation, comparison is the thief of joy and social media feeds this thief. Once I truly realized I was depressed and got diagnosed, I got rid of all social media. I come from a town where I was the poorest in my friend group by a mile, now we are adults and the same ones who had it all in high school still have it all because their parents, who mostly were successful due to grandparents, what a viscous cycle, gave them a company or a serious leg up. My depression is still worse than ever, but not because of comparing myself to them and a situation that was out of my control from the beginning. Control only yourself, that's all you can do, the external forces of this world are evil and blocking as many out as possible will be an aid to you in the long run. Get rid of all social media. Drip ready. Two days ago. Comparing yourself to others can be one of the worst things you can do to yourself, it makes you focus on the worst aspects of yourself which can cause you to lower your self-esteem and value. He may have all of those things and that is okay, that doesn't mean that you failed or that he is better than you. Try your best to distract yourself anytime you do this and focus on something more positive. Either painting 4801. Two days ago. Damn man that sucks. My bully got cancer and died in his 20s. I only know that because he's buried in the same graveyard as some of my family and we live in a small town. If he had gone on to live a successful life though, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't know about it as I wouldn't be interested. Try to cut out social media. Especially FB if this is how you found out about it. It's an absolute depression accelerator. And it's mostly a facade. I hope you can find a way to move forward and focus on your own life. The more time you spend doing things you enjoy and living your life, the less time you spend dwelling on the past and how you compare to others. I hope this is helpful in some way. Weezer Whitecap Two days ago. For everyone saying the villain always wins, this is simply not true. The popular crowd in high school never left the suburbs. A lot of the ended up dealing with alcoholism and substance use disorders. Some of them died, some went to jail. Depression makes it so easy to paint things with broad strokes, I'll never find love, I'll always be a loser, the world hates me. The best advice I have learned in living with my depression is that when it speaks, it's a goddamn liar. It does not deserve to be heard. Juan Fulgencio 19. Two days ago. I sympathize with your plight but take issue with some comments written here. How do you know the bully has a good life? Perhaps he's drowning in debt, anxiety, pressure from his father. You yourself acknowledged that he might be in an unhappy marriage. Does this take away from your pain? No. But comparison makes it harder for you to do better. And what do you want? I'm sure there are some minuscule things you could do that have nothing to do with the bully and would make your life better. I'm not capable of saying anything to fix your pain, I just want to encourage you that your bully's life might be dog shit too and your life can also get mildly better. 
I say this as someone who was an introverted nerd and a football player growing up. Simultaneously an outcast and well-liked slash popular. I know a lot of the guys you're talking about and trust me, everyone has pains you can't see. Everyone. Throw away. Two days ago. If it's any consolation, my bully seems to have a horrible life dealing with drug addiction, and as I got older I realized he came from a broken home, and the victory lap I was hoping to do over his life falling apart, well now I feel like shit lol. Anyway, reach out to the girl of your dreams, what do you have to lose? She probably does hate this guy. Probably everyone does. Just connect with her on a personal level, not just hey you are hot I like you kinda thing, that's not very flattering. But like hey remember middle school. We were such dorks. What are you up to these days, kinda thing, winky face, but you have to bring some fun to the table not just I like you let's do sex thing. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. The Internet Surfer on YouTube for more horror and scary stories.